my name is Zach Grant. I am CEO and co-owner of Cease Productions, a full service AV company in San Diego, California. Tom and I started working together in 2022, about mid 2022, as things were starting to come back. I reached out because I basically started feeling like my business was getting chaotic. I mean, similar to 2019 when we were really, really busy and I felt like I was kind of losing my grasp a little bit on kind of how things are going and uh, it became like not super fun. It was tough at the time, you know, mid 2022 to figure out the correct way forward. And it just felt like we were keeping up and I uh, felt like I was losing control of my business. So I, I wanted someone to really to come in and kind of audit what we were doing as a company and to come up with some, you know, like a good path forward. Um, you know, we were really busy too, but not necessarily super profitable either. And that never really made sense to me. So somebody with the know-how to come in and look at, you know, the business as a whole, um, point out the weak spots, you know, with a fresh perspective. You know, I'm so ingrained in the day-to-day, -day, day -day, it was hard for me to pull myself out and look at that stuff. I'm still, I think I'm relatively young, um, so I don't have all the know-how and I was looking for somebody with that outside perspective and experience to kind of help point me in the right direction, uh, be a sounding board and, you know, bounce ideas off of obviously and then get clarity on certain things that, you know, uh, and there's not a, a necessity to reinvent the wheel, you know, to, to do it a certain way and, and just, just generally get guidance and, and to, doing things, uh, you know, affirmation. Truthfully, I didn't look at too many advisors. I mean, Tom might've been the only one. Yeah. I remembered him uh, from the beginning of the pandemic as being really one of the only people out there saying that this is gonna take a lot longer than everybody thought. Cause I remember, you know, we were first shutting down and it's like 2020 that I was thinking, okay, three months, this thing's going to blow over. And he's out there saying, Hey, whatever you think it's going to be, it's going to be a lot longer. For whatever reason that ended up sticking with me for 18 months. So as we, as business picked back up, uh, and I was looking for somebody, he was the one that I thought of first. And then we jumped on a phone call and I started telling him about all the problems I'm having and just what we were talking about seemed to resonate with him. He seemed to have good answers. Uh, and that was affirmed when we actually met face to face at uh, Infocom in Vegas and if you're telling him again, me and some of my team, some of the problems that we were having and, you know, he just seemed to have like really uh, <laughs> obvious answers to most of these things that for whatever reason we didn't think of. And it was just like a light bulb sometimes would just go off like, oh my God, I don't know why we're not doing it that way. First thing he did was the audit and really try to identify the big weak points in the business and then basically come up with a plan for solving them, starting with what was most urgent to fix. And so um, I think the first one we tackled was looking at our labor pricing. We seem to be a little bit upside down on, on that. And uh, so we fixed that right away. And some of the other ones that we looked at uh, were like our management team. You know, I was feeling like I was being, you know, pulled into like so much and having to do so much and micromanage and well, you know, just be too ingrained in the business and not be able to step back and work on it. So um, building a better management team was something we focused on. Um, also setting up our financials in a, uh, a way that I could more easily understand what was going on with the business. And then from that understanding, you know, make changes. What I got, I think, um, more than that was clarity. That was the main thing I was looking for is clarity on the path forward. And uh, I was able to get that. The biggest impact on long-term is, uh, I think we have a solid growth plan and I have confidence that that's gonna work. Whereas before, you know, it was just kind of like, do the things we thought were going to work and hope for the best. And I didn't really feel in control, but you know, we identified what the weak points of the business were and we solved those. And now we're just, you know, looking forward to the results of what that action uh, is going to yield. Through working with him, we were 
I was and some of my team uh, able to better recognize what was good business for us to latch onto and bad business. And it, it, it has to do with, you know, profitability for sure. You know, what are the more or less profitable jobs, but also, you know, whether or not the relationship with the client is like the right relationship, you know, are we um, the right fit for each other? Do they see the value in what we do? Is it like a good working relationship and mutual appreciation or, you know, did they see us as a commodity the same as everybody else? And so, you know, they're just trying to always get the best price and, you know, kind of disregarding what the value is as a full service AV company. So um, definitely have made changes in that, valuing our time more um, than just trying to win every single project that we used to. I continue to work with Tom because I, I feel like I still need that voice of clarity um, from somebody who's, you know, been around for so long. And he, he's a good, he's a good sounding board because he's, you know, he, he's involved with so many other companies as well. So he's not just looking at like what we're doing. Um, he's looking at what the industry as a whole is doing and how other companies are doing it. And then, you know, he also brings us all together to bounce ideas off of each other. So. I'm a person that likes to try a lot of new things, um, but through that, you know, I have uh, in the past sometimes given my team a little bit of whiplash, you know, just, okay, we're going to do this and now we're going to do this and now we're going to do this. And uh, so he's kind of like the um, the person that when I have a new idea, I go, hey, here's what I'm thinking of doing. And he'll be like, hey, that's a terrible idea or no, there's a great idea, you should do that. And uh, so I'm able to kind of vet those ideas a little bit more before I just start implementing uh, like I used to. In order to work with Tom, I think you got to be, for one, ready for it. Um, so if you're closed-minded and you're not, you know, willing to try some new things or look at things differently, it's probably not going to be a good thing um, for you. And you really have to be uh, ready to implement uh, the change that you guys talk about. It. I mean, it's great to to talk and you know bounce ideas and all that, but without action, it's it's going to be meaningless. So. Um, so just if you're going to make the commitment, be ready to do it.